I have come back home after 12 years. I have come back because the memories of India have always been with me, whether I lived and cooked for New Yorkers or whether I have cooked all over the world. I am going to be travelling all over the coast of India to celebrate the new traditions of food with my own mission and vision to create my own twist to those classic dishes which I have loved and they are part of my memory. Come and share with me this wonderful journey as I bring most exotic India to your kitchens. I am all excited but are you? So let's start this journey. restaurant in New York City, I always say this with a lot of pride, that the best Indian food is served in Indian homes, not in Indian restaurants. I say this because I feel that a home cook cooks with a lot of love, affection and care and that is why the food tastes much more soulful. And one thing is for sure, that when you visit an Indian home, you would know the true essence of hospitality. Today I am in Ratnagiri and I am going to visit Amrutesh family farm which is a beautiful place surrounded by a lot of mother nature where they grow their own vegetables and spices. So I'm going to be sitting on the dining table enjoying this wonderful feast. This is cinnamon. Oh yes, cinnamon. Hmm? Oh, this is a natto. A natto, which is natural food color. Wow. This is the Indian local version of this. We call it umbar or adumbar. Adumbar. Wow. In this part of uh, Konkan, yes. this is supposed to be a very auspicious tree. So it's like wild fig, right? It is a wild fig. Wow, I've never seen this before. This is mm. beautiful. You cook with this or do you? Yes. Some vegetables are made out of this. Delicious. Oh my God, you can mm. never learn enough in this country, yeah. right? Yeah. Here's cool. Kya ban gaya? Are you serious? <laughs> Wow, what a farm. I've yeah. got colored, I've got a tattoo, guys. So I, it can't be a better day than this. I was writing a children's book and I wrote in the beginning of it that as we grow older, the strongest memories of our life will be eating on a family table. Yeah, right? Sorry, sir, again, please. Will you guess that vegetable? <laughs> Let me enjoy the food. <laughs> no exams here. <laughs> the seeds are like something like a small tindora. Okay. Like gherkins. Okay. We we saw that plant. We saw the tree. Is this the figs? Yeah. Very right. Very right. <laughs> Fantastic. So juicy, and the texture is from those little seeds. Very you good. said it's only the sparrows who give the. Seed yeah. of this tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. You actually don't plant this tree. Like, isn't that an amazing cycle yeah. of nature? <laughs> what a feast. But for me, I feel that the king of this feast is a fig. Oh, really? I think the fig sabzi is absolutely fantastic. My brain is already thinking what the twist I would like to give this wonderful dish. But at this moment, I want to live in the present tense. I want to enjoy this moment with all of you and enjoy this wonderful food. The whole country India takes pride in Ratnagiri for its Alfonso mangoes. But when I was traveling to Ratnagiri, my friend in Mumbai told me that I've got to try the Puran Poli bread. These are flat breads which are stuffed with jaggery, coconut, lentils. Every family has their own version. 
and the rumors are that the women in Ratnagiri make the best puran polis. So I'm here to set the facts right and check that how good are puran polis in Ratnagiri. When I came to Ratnagiri, I asked everyone around in the market that who makes the best puran poli. Everybody said Rupali puran poli auntie, right? <laughs> okay. ये पुरन हाँ वो अच्छा बनाने के बाद ही पुरन पुली अच्छी बनती है ओके तो तो स्टफिंग हैज़ टू बी ग्रेट राइट हाँ कैन आई टेस्ट द स्टफिंग लिटिल बिट कुछ अच्छा नहीं लगा एम आई एन इडियट टू थिंक टू कंपीट विद यू थैंक यू ओके सो इट हैज़ जागरी हाँ स्प्लिट ग्राम चना दाल हाँ uh, it doesn't have cardamom. It, it's a nutmeg, right? हाँ ठीक. Jaiful, gul ki wo cheese hoti hai, jo bhi, wo jaiful acha rehte hai. Oh my God, it is so true that the best combination of mace is jaggery. Oh, Auntie Ji, you are a food scientist. <laughs> <laughs> and little bit of salt. नहीं, वो gul में ही salt होता है. थोड़ा थोड़ा। Oh, so true. When they make the jaggery, especially in this part of India, they always add little salt when they make the jaggery. हाँ। So, are you serious? She has actually stuffed almost five times the weight of the stuffing than the weight of the dough. So the dough is so thin that it's almost not visible. Okay. I can try one. There's an old saying that tradition breaks traditions. But I think this tradition of making a perfect wooden poli should not be touched. I'm going to go in a totally different direction to give it my own twist. How can you twist something so perfect? A heartwarming family meal to a perfectly stuffed bread. This was just the beginning. Stay with me for more. I have a whole country to discover. Take care.